Hello everybody, it's Napalmic Acid, and today I will be doing an unboxing and review of this one by one belt driven record player. This is $76.99 on their Amazon. It comes in black, denim, turquoise, and maybe a few other colors. And I ordered it on the 21st. Today's the 23rd, so pretty quick shipping. Again, this is Amazon Prime, even though I didn't order it through Amazon Prime. So that's always nice. And um, yeah, that's it. So let's go ahead and get into it here. Pull out our knife. There we go. So we will open it here. Just like that. And there it is. You have some pop bubbles on top. Don't need those. And here it is. It says vintage turntable, portable suitcase style, one by one at the top there. And it supports 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So you can plug in your iPod or iPhone or Android or anything you have. Three speed turntable so you can use, it'll work with all your records you have. And a 3.5 millimeter earphone jack in case you don't want to use the built in speakers that are front, front facing speakers. So let's get it out of the box here and open it up. All right, so has a small tab right up here. That has a little bit of tape on it. We'll get our knife out again and slit it open just like that. Perfect. And it comes right on open just like that. Here it is. It has a leather handle on it, which is pretty neat. Nothing else in the well, there's some stuff in the box. Set that aside. All right, first we will see what is in it here. Looks to be a power adapter. Just a little small one there, probably five volt. Really small little head here. All right. And a user manual. So not much to it here. Tells you what all the things do. We're gonna get into that, of course. Um, speaker, stuff like that. Not much to it. So we'll put this aside and we will take a look at it itself here. Alright, it comes in a little bag. It slides right on out. And here it is. It's really quite small actually compared to my hand here. Really small compared to my regular record player I have. Um, has a little latch here. Just undo that, open it. But first, let's take a look at the front. You have the two front facing speakers here. Of course, the handle, nice and sturdy. These are the legs here. So you can set it down, it can breathe some underneath, I guess. Um, there's the back latches there. There is the one by one label on it, like all their products have. One by one. And here is the side with all the good stuff. Here is the volume lever and on and off switch, I'm assuming, yep, on and off and volume. There is your headphone in, your charging, your cable and your power. And if you want to hook up some RCA or any sort of speakers, external speakers, and a line in from an iPod or something. When I looked at the reviews for this online, I saw that some people said it wasn't loud enough the built-in speakers so we'll test that of course but um i have a surround sound system that'll work good with this um if i want to amplify my records so now let's go ahead and get into it and here's a look at the inside you have the turntable here this is where you put your record at you have the auto stop here if you want it to stop at the end there's an on and off and you have record switcher here if you're going to switch between 33s 45s and 78s and this is the lever to lift it. First you have to disengage this and then you can pull up on this lever here and put it over onto it and then drop it just like that once you have your record on it. So we're going to put that back there and drop it and we will lock that in place right there just like that. So I'm going to grab a record and we'll see how it fits on here. This is Elvis's golden record here, RCA goes on just like that nice and easy and all you'll do is undo this latch 
lift up on this lever. I'm used to pressing this like on my other one. It doesn't have the lever. Pull up like this, put it over it, and you drop it just like that. And then it will slowly and gently start playing the record. And it only starts once this goes over the record. So if it's sitting here, it won't be moving. Once it's here, it'll start rolling. So now let's go ahead and test out the audio in and the actual record playing itself. And here they are side by side. This is the one I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. It was about $80, about the same price as this. But the benefits to it are... Well, it can be a benefit to you or not that it's more old looking. Um, for me, that's not. I like this look a lot better. But it does offer Bluetooth, cassette tape, so you can put your cassettes in here. Also does CDs. It has radio, FM, AM radio. And it also has the line in too. And you have the classy little dial up here to switch the radio station. And um, it has a big antenna in the back, a little line one. And here is the inside of it. You can see with this one here, it doesn't have that little lever that the other one has. So it gently puts it down. You have to put your thumb on it and move it over and drop it on the needle. So you have to be gentle and do that yourself. Um, the other thing is, and this one has some of that too, this wobbles a lot. Like I can lift it up almost. And this one does that too, some like I just said, but not as bad as this. Also has the 45 adapter, which is pretty standard in all of these. So, just wanted to show that real quick. So now let's go ahead and put a record on the other one here and see how it sounds and how loud it is. All right, and here we go. I have the auxiliary cable plugged in. So we're gonna be playing Holla by Disconfigure again. This is the NCS song, a really good song. Um, I'm gonna plug it in here if I can get it done. And there we go. So we will start off by playing it at half volume here and full volume on the speaker. Just turn it on there and let's go. You can see you can barely hear it actually. It's all the way up over here. So let's try to turn it up some. Let's go ahead and do all the way. a quick test of it you have to have it all the way up to even get suitable loud volume out of this we'll see if it's any different with the actual record but that just wasn't loud enough so now let's go ahead and throw a record on here and one thing I forgot to mention before when I was um, showing off the inside is it has a 45 adapter right here um, that's hidden up here nice and flush with the case so that's probably why I missed it here it is, we will be doing Van Halen 1984. It should give us an idea of the sound quality and how loud it is. So we'll put it on the 1984 jump side there. Um, 1984 and jump. So let's go ahead and set it down on here. Get some focus in and turn it on over here. A little bit better view right there. And we will lift the arm up with this, put it over here, it starts spinning as you can see, it stops, and it starts, and put the lever down, and it will automatically start. And I think the song on is 1984, and then we'll do jump right after that. <laughs> Right, and before it gets too far into it there, let's go ahead and try to find jump here. Just get into it there. And there we go. Sounds pretty good. We didn't get to any voices there, sadly, but it did sound excellent. Um... Of course, it's not going to compete with your real expensive systems out there. But for the portability and price of this, I say it's great. Um, I will be testing this on different records. 
So if there's anything that I found wrong or problematic, I'll put it in the description and a comment below. But so far, I think this is going to be a great record player and great at replacing my other chunky one. So there you go, guys. I got this on Amazon. $76 from 1x1. Quick shipping, and it's a pretty cool product. So I'll put the link for it in the description below, and thanks for watching.